All right, so we're going to turn to social media apps right now, like TikTok, for a lot of reasons. One topic trending these days, the health benefits of magnesium. And it turns out the experts agree with what you might be seeing, but with a few caveats. Our Megan Woods joins us live tonight to help break down this latest TikTok health hack. Megan? That's right, Kimberly. So we're here at Prince Valley Market, one of the many places where you can get food that has magnesium in it. And when we spoke to that expert dietitian, she says that it's better to get that magnesium from your diet rather than those supplements. I didn't know it was what, such a big deal on TikTok. Um, so I just kind of take it because, you know, a doctor that I trust said, this will be good for you. Magnesium and what it can do for your body isn't some big secret especially if you're putting your health first, just as some of the people who work out at Lionheart Fitness in South Lyon. I take magnesium two pills every morning and two pills at night. I really try to make sure I get magnesium in my diet first and foremost. I take it every night. Um, I take three pills. And they do notice a difference. I take it to help sleep and with anxiety and just supposed to overall be calming. I feel like it's I'm more relaxed and I do feel like it helps with anxiety a little bit like just kind of helps keep me a little more chill. It definitely helps with your recovery so after you get done with a hard workout um, it helps with muscle recovery so you're not as sore you know the following couple days you know and it helps prevent cramping. For people who are just getting hip to it through viral TikTok videos. I just started these last week. Expert dietitian Kimberly Snodgrass has some advice. But if you really want an expert on nutrition, you should talk to a dietitian. So you shouldn't always listen to what you see on social media or hear on social media. She says magnesium is good for your body, benefits your heart, and even boosts your mood. You can find it in foods you might already be eating. Dark leafy greens are a really good source of magnesium, nuts, seeds, dry beans, and whole grains. You can get it from a lot of food sources, so you really don't need to supplement it if you're eating a variety of foods. But there is such thing as not getting enough of the nutrient. Typically, we see magnesium deficiencies in people with celiac disease, people with Crohn's disease, people who have chronic alcoholism. And you'll know you're deficient if you start having fatigue, nausea, vomiting. It gets really bad if you start to have numbness, tingling, and seizures. So as I said, also talk to your dietitian. She's going to educate you or your doctor and will guide you. Too much of it is a concern too. So if you consume too much, you're going to have diarrhea, which no one wants, and you're going to have cramping. So for men, the supplementation upper limit is 400 milligrams, and for women, it's 300 milligrams. Kimberly also mentions that even though taking those supplements may seem a lot easier, having a well-rounded diet is actually cheaper than getting those supplements every month or every other month, how often you get them. But again, she recommends you talk to your doctor first or reach out to a dietitian to help you out. Reporting live in Detroit, I'm Megan Woods, Local 4. Yeah, appreciate those tips, Megan. Great story. Thank you.